welcome. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're returning. Welcome back. You guys, I had a couple of day break, okay? After that 25 days of Vlogmas I did, I had to have a little break, child. So anyway, this vlog is probably going to be all over the place because um, it's just going to be all over the place. It's going to be a couple of days uh, worth of vlogmas in I mean vlogmas oh my gosh it's gonna be a couple of days worth of vlogs in one with that being said I already made two stops I had to um go order a cake for my husband oh I didn't even tell you guys wait a minute let me try to find somewhere to put y'all because this is gonna be difficult hold on now please okay I hope y'all can see me good okay so this um this video this vlog this vlog is going to be all over the place, like I was just saying. Um, I already made two stops already. I First, I had to go order a cake at the last minute. And let me tell y'all what's going on. Let me give y'all a little brief thing. I'm having a surprise birthday party for my husband. And I'm telling you guys this because I'm not putting this vlog out until the day of the party. So, that way, if he watches some of my videos, he won't see this and know about the surprise obviously so with that being said we're having a surprise party for my husband me and the kids he was like let's have a surprise party for daddy i was like yeah that'd be a great idea because he's turning 50 as i told you guys before in the previous vlogs so with that being said um i had a lady that was going to do a cake uh the theme of the party let me tell you guys real quick the theme of the party is um hat and watches so everybody all the guests have has to wear a hat and a watch of their choice so, um, I was ordering, a, I had ordered a hat cake somewhere in the screen. I might put up a, um, picture of the cake, what, what the cake was going to look like. But anyhow, the lady that I've been working with for years, I always go to her for the kids birthdays and my birthday, my husband's, um, I even had her do my daughter's prom sent off and my other daughter's, uh, sweet 16. So we have been working with her for years, many, 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 many years. So, and she's excellent. So, anyhow, with that being said, she started feeling sick. So, she went to go take one of those tests. We already know, the, the COVID test. And she's waiting on her results. You just want to be take precaution and get tested just to see if she actually have it or she just has a simple cold. With that being said, today is what? Thursday, December 30th. I got... Um, call from her yesterday which was Wednesday stating that information that I just told you so I can't wait it's pretty much the party is Saturday I don't know what the heck I'm doing I'm freaking out because I ordered a round cake at the bottom it's like a round cake and then on top is going to be another cake and that was going to be the hat cake the cake pretty much shaped like a hat so we have no cake oh and I ordered cookies um from her it's going to be a uh, number of cookies with obviously 50 the number 50 so we can't get the cake we can't get the cookies because it's up in limbo until she lets me know her results with that being said i don't have time to play it's thursday the party is saturday um i did however order cupcakes in different flavors i was going to do that regardless and then um i had ordered the cake and cookies from her so i'm pretty much going to say we ain't going to get anything from her so i today i just left out of one of the stores out here by me I ordered a, um, cause he loves carrot cake. So I ordered a round, I think it's two layer, uh, two layer cake, uh, carrot cake. I ordered that for him. And then we have the cupcakes. Like I was just said, it's, um, I got different flavors. I ordered 30 cupcakes, you know, because I knew the cake wasn't going to be big enough for everybody to eat off of anyway. So I figured, you know, let me get, uh, cupcakes. So I was doing that regardless. So nevertheless, we have no cake that I wanted to originally have. As of now, as of today, because like I said, today is Thursday. She could possibly text me or call me today or tomorrow and say she could still do it if she doesn't have the COVID, obviously. Because if she do, just stay far, far away from me, honey. So I had to order a, a backup cake, which was where I ordered the cupcake. So I went back over there today, ordered a cake. And it's just, like I said, it's a carrot cake. And, um, you know, we have happy uh, 50th birthday, Earl. So, and then we have the cupcakes now. I'm doing like a little sweet table or whatever. Nothing crazy. Because, you know, us adults, we don't really eat all that sweets and stuff like that. At least I don't. And my husband likes likes cakes, but he ain't no big, huge fan of cakes. So I'm like, I know he loves carrot cakes. So I said, let me get a carrot cake. 
So I didn't want to order all this stuff, you know, all this sweets on that table. So the plan was to have the hat cake. It was a two-tier cake. It had cake, the cupcakes, and the cookies. And I was going to order, um, not order, I was going to go pick up a bag of uh, Reese's. Reese's peanut butter cups, the little small, you know how they have the small ones, the mini ones. And I was going to put it in this jar. And, you know, the whole theme was pretty much black. I got the ba black backdrop and the black table cover. And then the stuff that we was using to sit everything on was gold. Because I had ordered on Amazon these gold, I guess you can use them for cakes or cupcakes, like the stands. You guys can see them. I ordered that. So I'm still going to use some of those so I can put the cupcakes on. And then um, use that to put the cake on as well. So we got that under control. But I'm just so upset about that cake hat. Because like I said, y'all, the theme of the party is hat and watch theme. You know, because my husband, anybody know my husband knows this man loves his hats, his watches, and his shoes, okay? So, I figured that'd be a cute idea. Everybody wear a hat of their choice, wear a watch. That'd be so cute. Plus, we, we would have had the cake, which would have been shaped like a hat. But clearly, that's not going to happen. Fingers crossed, if she calls me and says she don't have anything, she can still make it. But I can't go by that. I'm just going by, we ain't going to have it. So, anyway, with that being said... I had to go today and order another cake. And um, so now I don't, the only thing that's really going to be on the sweet table is the cake, the cupcakes, and uh, like I said, the Reese PC mini cups. And I think that's all I'm going to have on there because, I mean, like I said, we all grown. It's not like it's a, like my daughter's age probably did eat the sweets up. We ain't going to eat all that stuff. We're going to be left with all them cupcakes because, like I said, I ordered 30 of them. So it's like, oh my God. And I had to get a cake because my I was thinking to myself, well, he ain't that big of a cake person. So do I really need a cake? But I can't. We always get a cake on all of our birthdays. We don't even have to be having a party. We still get a cake for each of our birthdays every year. So I'm like, I have to keep it up. So I got the cake anyway. So I got the cake. I ordered that because, you know, clearly I don't think we're going to have the other one. So I had to run out and do that. I just did that. I literally just got back in the car. Let me show y'all what I got. Bath and Body. Let me show y'all. Okay. So I got an email. You know, I'm signed up with the Bath and Body. They have a sale going on with certain three wick candles. Of course, the ones I like, they don't have them on sale. I think this candles is as low as 12 something. They have four for, hold on, let me see what this receipt say. I think it was four for 20. Four for 20. And I got 40. Um, and this is for the, uh, hand soap i put these in my bathrooms like the guest bathrooms even my bathroom so i got this and y'all know my favorite candle baby my favorite can and i didn't even know they had this in in the hand soap so you know i had to get this i'm gonna put this downstairs guest bathroom i got this and i got this hope y'all can see Hopefully, y'all can see. And I got this. So, I got four of these for 20 Like, 20 and some change, you know, with tax and all. But, yeah. I was like, ooh, I'm going to get me some of this. So, yeah, I'm going to put those in one of the black one. I'm going to put the, what is it called? The tea wood, whatever. I'm going to put that in the guest bathroom downstairs. The other ones, I'm probably um gonna just put them in my cabinet because i store my candles that i've been getting y'all you know i've been doing a little collection of the candles so i got my candle collection and now i'm gonna put this collection of hand soap in the cabinet upstairs so that way you know we run out of something we just grab it that's what i pretty much do for like toilet paper well not really toilet paper because the toilet paper is so much toilet paper i don't even have i used to keep a big old thing in my bathroom and then everybody just grabs so many you know put them in under their cabinet in their bathroom but as far as the candles the soap and like toilet uh, toothpaste and mouthwash, extra deodorant and all that good stuff, we put that in the cabinet upstairs. So it's actually in my laundry room because my laundry room we have the washer and dryer, and then we have shelves to hang our under fold our sheets, towels, and and all that. And then we have two big cabinets where I put my laundry soap and all that stuff. And then the other cabinet is empty, so that's where I store my other extra stuff. So we got all that. So. Pretty much today is done. I was going to want to run to Walmart to get the napkins, um, paper plates, and what else I say? Oh, and cups. But I'd like, what, what would be the point? Because today is Thursday. 
Saturday, we're going to pick up the balloons. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I didn't even take y'all with me yesterday. Yesterday, we got up. Was it yesterday or Tuesday? I think it was Tuesday. Me and the girls got up, and we went to Party City. My daughter had ordered this uh, balloons and other stuff. It's like a big package that came um, that she ordered from Amazon. And we pretty much had took the balloons that we wanted blown up to Party City. Because I didn't even know that Party City would blow the balloons up for a fee, obviously. I thought you had to get the balloons from Party City. So, to my surprise, you don't. So, we got um, some balloons and some backdrop, whatever. So, we took the balloons off to Party City. I believe it was Tuesday. We got to pick that up Saturday. So, I'll take y'all along with me Saturday for that. Um, uh, the cupcakes and the cake order, I have to pick that up Saturday as well. So, all, mind you, all this time while we picking all this stuff, well, we got to put it in the base, child, because I don't want my husband to know. So, this is the thing. It's a surprise, but unfortunately... We're going to have to tell him um, that surprise, you're having a surprise birthday party the day of, which is Saturday, because there's no other way around it. He has to get ready. Only thing he thinks is we're taking him out um, for his birthday, like a birthday dinner, me and the kids. He doesn't know anything about the party and all that. So the day of, um, me and the girls, actually, all of us, me, all of us, DeAndre, all of us, me and the girls and my son, we all got to go get up. What well, we know it necessarily, we all don't even have to go. I may just have my daughters go run and get the um, the balloons. And then I'll run and get the cake. That way we, I mean, because kill two birds with one stone. And then I still have to run to um, Walmart. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But we may end up all going together. But like Saturday, what we have to do is pick up the balloons, pick up the cake, go get the liquor. Because I'm going to run to Walmart and get the uh, napkins, paper plates, and um, cups. And then while I'm in, I'm going to see how the alcohol area looks. Because I'm going to order, I mean order, I'm going to pick up some drinks. And if they don't have what we want, because I already got in mind what we're going to be, what I'm going to buy for the alcohol. Then I'm going to run to this other store, which is not too far from Walmart. But yeah, we're going to be having a lot of running around to do Saturday. So yeah, it's going to be fun. But the thing is, we're going to have him hiding upstairs. I'm going to have him start getting ready, ironing his clothes and stuff and all that. And I'm going to tell him, don't go downstairs. I'm going to tell him that um, that I'm setting up something just for me and him downstairs. Because I'm going to tell him that the kids are going to be gone at the hotel all night. We're going to have the house to ourselves. And I'm setting up something special for us. And I need their help before we go out to eat dinner. That's what I'm going to tell him. In the meanwhile, we're going to be down there setting up for the party, getting the table and stuff in order. I'm thinking he's going to probably figure something out because I need to get, I need to bring this big table out to put the sweets and stuff. So I'm thinking he's going to figure something out. I, I really didn't want him to figure nothing out, but it's like hard to do a surprise party for him when he lives in the house. He's in the house. It's just hard. How are you going to you know, do a surprise party for somebody that you live with? And it's like, I don't know where to send him. And my daughter's like, well, I could take him somewhere. You could take him somewhere. But we got too much stuff to set up downstairs. So it's like, it is what it is. Either way it goes, she's going to be surprised regardless. Because I'm going to have him come down. I'm like, surprise. We're going to have everything set up and stuff. And then that's when we're going to say we're having a surprise birthday party for you. I'm not going to tell him who the guests, uh, who's on the guest list. That is going to be a surprise as well. So this ought to be exciting. I can't wait, y'all. I can't wait, baby. I can't wait. He's going to be surprised, okay? So I'm excited about that. I'm really bummed though. Oh my gosh, man, I'm mad. <laughs> the whole party theme is, is a damn hat and watch party theme. And I don't have the damn hat cake. Like who? <laughs> I'm over it. I, I, I'm not even going to stress myself out about it. I was stressing all yesterday about it, panicking. And then I had, um, I had called his cousin. Because they live in the city. I was like, hey, y'all know somebody to do cakes. So she called this one lady that does their cakes. It was too much money. I, I, I ain't going to be able to do it. Mm -mm. It it was it was a lot. It was over $300. Well over that. So I'm like, no, I ain't doing all that for no cake. My husband would choke me if he found out I spent that amount of money on a cake. I, I wouldn't even do it no way because I'm cheap. But I, that's how I had thought about for a glimpse. I'm like, ooh. And I was like, oh, hell no. Let me come back down to reality. For a cake, no. So I am going to tell him the kind of cake that I want. I'm going to show him a picture of how it was going to look because um, he would have been shocked with that cake. Because that would have been something so funny. He would have thought it was so hilarious. But it is what it is. Unless she happens, like I said, to call me today or tomorrow 
saying she can do it. We just ain't going to have the hat cake. I'm really disappointed because I was really, really, really wanted that hat cake. But I got to move on. I stressed myself enough about it yesterday. So it is what it is. Nevertheless, everything's going to be great. Um, So I'm going to show y'all. Like I said, this, this is vlog is going to be a couple of days. Probably today and Saturday. Because tomorrow I don't really have nothing to do. You know, probably straighten up like I normally do. Get my house ready. Because technically we usually... Because, you know, obviously Friday is New Year's Eve. We're not doing nothing for New Year's Eve. We're going to be chilling at the house, get us a bottle of wine, watch the countdown on TV, do what we do. Um, we're not having a New Year's Eve party this year because obviously I'm doing my husband's surprise birthday party. His birthday is actually on the 4th of January, which is a Tuesday. And we're having a party on the 1st of January, which is Saturday. So we're not going to do no two parties back to back. That's just doing too much. So... Yeah, we're going to probably, next time y'all probably see me, it'll be Saturday when we're on our way to go get the balloons and the cake and all the other stuff. Picking up the liquor and running around with our heads cut off, pretty much. Because I put on the invitations to start at 6. So, we have a, you know, we have a decent amount of people. I didn't invite too many people because there's Rona going around. I ain't got time for no, I ain't got, I don't, I don't want no problems. So, I, I, you know, only invited a couple of handful of people. A little under 10-ish. Well, actually, with us included. Probably be like mm, 11, maybe 12 people. It was going to be more, but two people um couldn't come because they're sick. So, But, yeah, I didn't want to invite that many people to my house because with all this stuff going up and the num um, going on and the numbers are going back up, too, I ain't got time. I ain't got time. I don't know what people are doing on their free time, and I don't want nothing coming back to my house. So, and we're already taking a chance to doing this as it is. But So, anyhow, yeah, we didn't invite that, I didn't invite that many people. And um, so, we should be good with the, as far as the food. I'm getting certain, I'm getting two different kind of liquors. And then I'm getting stuff to mix them with or whatever. And then uh, we have a big old tray of chicken. I ordered a hundred pieces of chicken wings from JJ's in the city. Um, Earl's cousin's picking that up because he already lives in the city. And then his twin cousins are making um, a pan of spaghetti. And they're making him a uh, potato salad. But that's not for the party. That's just for Earl because he loves potato salad. He loves their potato salad. So so we're pretty much on the menu as far as food. is just the chicken wings and the spaghetti. I might pick up something else just to snack on. Maybe some guacamole and chips for later on after everybody get to drinking. You know, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But other than that. We should be good as far as the food because it's like I said, we're not bringing, we're not inviting. Well, I should say I didn't invite a gang of people. So, and a hundred pieces of uh, wings, that's that's more than enough, more than enough. I could have got away with getting fifty, but I figured I get, I would rather have more because you know, put you put your little stash up in the refrigerator, you know, before it be gone, and the people might want to take some chicken home, whatever, spaghetti, whatever. So, yeah, we're going to have a good time. I cannot wait to see my husband's face when we surprise him. And then I can't wait to see his face when he sees who shows up because he doesn't know, baby. He don't know. He don't know. So, yeah, let me get off of here. I'm going to take my butt home, make me something to eat because right now it's almost 12 o'clock. And um, yeah, I'm going to go home. I got my little soaps and stuff. Take my butt home, and uh, like I said, the next time you guys will see me will be Saturday because that's the next time I got things to do: balloons, cake, cupcakes, pop, alcohol, beverages, and then the utensils. You know, like well, I really don't have to. I, they can use my forks. You know, I don't like cleaning up a whole bunch of mess. So that's why I'm getting the paper plates and plastic cups, and the um, you know, I got to get napkins anyway because I'm running low. So you know. It's going to be good. It's going to be good, y'all. I'm excited. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Because he was like, don't do nothing crazy. You know, don't go overboard, whatever. So I, I got this man thinking we just, us family, you know, me and the kids and him, we're just going out to eat dinner. He don't know Nathan, okay? And I cannot wait. Because, see, to be honest, when we have birthday parties for each other and stuff, or regardless, we usually celebrate our birthday on New Year's Eve because we normally do New Year's Eve parties every year. Or we just go out to eat dinner or something. We never, he never gave me, I don't think, no. He never gave me a surprise birthday party. And I never gave him a surprise birthday party. Because like I said, we usually celebrate it together. Because literally, we're a week apart in our birthdays. So he's next week and I'm the following week. So we always do our stuff together. So it never was like a plan 
surprise for either one of us. So this is going to actually be his first surprise birthday party. I'm throwing him. So this is going to be interesting. Like I said, he's throwing, he's, he's throwing, he's uh, turning 50, baby. I'm like, I got to do something. And to be honest, if this whole Rona thing wasn't going around, I would have planned something at like a hall or, so, you know, like a banquet hall. I wouldn't have did it at my house. I would have, we would have had a gang of people like baby. It would have been, it would have been an epic party going down, but clearly with the circumstances we can't do all what i wanted to do so we're gonna make the best of it so it is what it is and like i said my husband's fine with small gatherings anyway with just family and close friends that's what he's about i'm the one who wants that big shebang bang you know what i'm saying so but either way it's gonna be fun he's gonna be excited he and i know he's gonna be surprised he probably be like oh my god so it's going to be fun. I'm going to take y'all along with me. Like I said, y'all going to see a little glimpse of the party because I'm not be, going to be recording the whole time. I want to enjoy myself too. So I'm going to give y'all a little glimpse of the party and um and a glimpse of us getting everything Saturday because we're going to be running around with our heads cut off, like I said. So I'm going to talk to y'all Saturday. That's the next time y'all going to see me. And I'm so excited. I'm more excited than he probably going to be. Cause I love throwing parties for people. I love surprise, surprising people in general. I love surprising people, and he he's definitely going to be surprised. Okay, so this is this is gonna be great. Oh, I'm excited, y'all. I am bummed. Like I said, I'm gonna say it again. I'm bummed about that dang on hat cake. Oh, and then she was gonna do the cookies too. I'm just I don't even want to talk about it no more. I don't even want to talk about it for y'all. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so mad. But whatever, whatever. anyways, let me get off. I'll see y'all Saturday for the next adventure of us running around with our heads cut off. Bye. Hey, you guys. This is all the food we have for Christmas dinner. I thought I'll share a little bit with you guys. I hope everyone had a blessed Christmas and got everything they wanted. Bye.